here's the centerpiece of the garden. This is going to be filled with soil as well as something to hold up a galvanized tub in the center. And um, I'm going to fill it with water, the galvanized tub, and put my solar fountain in it. So the water feature will stand above this fire ring filled with soil. And I'm going to plant around the galvanized tub inside of this ring. I'm not sure what yet. I was thinking of strawberries. I thought of lobelia to make it all pretty and blue. There's many things I can do. I haven't settled on that yet. But from this center circle of the back garden, we measured, even though this is not a symmetrical back area, it is about 26 by 20 and kind of goes at odd angles. But we kind of located what is the center with measurements. Well, I fiddled with it a little bit and I moved it a little because I, it didn't look right even though it was numerically central, central in here. It just didn't fit with the flow of everything. So I moved it probably a foot to one side. And then if you can see down in there, let me see if I can zoom in. I have it balanced, the center tub, on three pavers. Well, we are finally going to finish this fire ring with the fountain in the center. Let me get my phone in my hand. Get around here. Now, this is the fire ring, and I have filled it with some compost. Not really compost, but I have, like, garden debris. I just put it in there because I wanted to fill this up without having a lot of expense as far as buying dirt and then I put some chicken litter in here and it's probably got about four or five maybe six inches to go to be full and I'm pulling out little seedlings that have come up in it since I started putting soil in it. I'm going to pull the camera closer so you can see how I'm going to set up the tub of water with the solar fountains in it. These are just a couple of potted Dutch irises that I need to set aside. And I will bring the camera in closer. Now I have the three pavers that I stood them on end. And then I just kind of filled in the soil around them to, well this isn't soil, but the chicken manure. And um, to kind of wedge them upwards so they'll stay upright as I filled in more. Um, you can also use my husband recommended cinder block which might be a little easier to um, get put in here since you don't have to worry about them falling over as easy as these but these were these I had on hand so I was trying to just go with what I had now I used the garden debris and chicken litter for my chicken pen because I didn't want to have to buy or use up a ton of compost to fill this up this is a pretty good size and this will compost down so the plants that I put in it will sink. But I'm going to fill it up now with some potting soil because I'm out of my other compost that I could fill it with. But I'm going to, I bought some potting soil. I'm going to fill it up and then put my tub on top. Now I'm just going to fill in around the edges because the center is full of the compost. And this is just regular potting soil. Last four to five, maybe six inches. It took a whole 1.5 cubic foot bag of potting soil. So that tells you how much I would have had to use if I would have um, had to fill the whole thing with potting soil. Okay, so I want those out, not covered with the potting soil. I think I got it pretty much evenly distributed. Okay, so 
So now I'm going to put the tub on here. I'm going to try and get the tub in the center. Well, it looks close enough to the center anyways. Let me look around the other side. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not going to measure. So that looks pretty good all the way around. And I don't care that this block here is showing. We're all good. And now I'm going to fill it with water. Get my hose. And fill it up. Okay, it is almost full. I'm going to go turn it off by the time I get over there. This will be close to full. I have it watered down. I will, though, the soil in there yet. I will do that after a bit. Okay, now I'm getting my solar fountains. I have two because I had two going and I don't have anywhere else to put one. Um, I have a link to these in my blog post. I tried two different ones. They work about the same. The one that I have um, had a battery, or had. I don't have that one this year. Um, let's see, I need to burp them. So this is how you burp them. You dump them under the water, and you let the air come out. You see the bubbles, hopefully. My phone's going off. So let's see if they start up. There you go. And that is how you burp them if they're not working. A lot of times, they um, if once they're taken out of the water, they'll stop. And then when you put them back in the water, you just dump them down like that underneath the water until the bubbles stop. Then they will start working again. Now, the sun isn't fully up, so it's kind of working to get it going. But when the sun is fully on them, then they will um, work continuously. Now, one thing I have to say about the one that I have linked on my website has a small battery. It will continue working even after the sun's not on it when it's charged for another hour or so. Um, and I really like it. These were two others I tested and then they work fine, but they don't have the backup battery to continue when there's no sun. So, there is my fountain. And I will show you once I get it all planted up and ready to go. Also, around the outside edge, I'm going to plant something. I need to clear that up so I can plant it all the way around it. But for now, that is how I filled up my fire ring and put my tub fountain on top.